Hi, Oscar. How you doing? I've got your work. I got your PDF um, open. Wait a second. I I think I, I or I yes, I do. I have your work right here. Okay. So nice cover. Good job. Let's go ahead and take a look at the first page where you have. This is your trade show booth. Great job mocking up your trade show. Really good job. Um, I think one thing that we're just you've kind of totally lost sight of at this particular point in this assignment is sustainability. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So you're saying this, okay, you're saying aluminum floor. Your trade show booth has an aluminum floor, but why? I mean, the trade show is going to have a floor anyways. Why do you need to have an aluminum floor? That seems like overkill. That seems like um, overconsumption and overproduction, which it points to the contrary of sustainability. So there's a little bit of a conceptual question mark going on there. Um, aluminum. Okay, so, and then the aluminum floor, and then you say, and then the aluminum poles in order to hold, so you're talking about aluminum being lightweight and and strong. And we know that aluminum has been around for, a, for a quite some time. We all know what aluminum is. We all know its attributes. So why, I don't understand why you're trying to tell us what the attributes of Aluminum are here in this presentation. It just doesn't make any sense. These need to be sustainable materials. If you are using recycled sustainable aluminum, by all means, then tell us why these aluminum poles are relevant. Same thing with, well, I don't, I'm just not even feeling the floor. So I, I just think you should forget the floor. Um, I mean, it just doesn't seem like, like one of your classmates has a moss floor for deforestation, that's cool because it makes sense. It fits right into the concept. Having a steel floor or an aluminum floor to represent causes of poverty just doesn't, I'm not feeling it. Okay, uh, corrugated cardboard for display and sign. Again, corrugated cardboard, it, it assumes there's a, a layer of corrugation between two flat layers of, of paper stock, meaning there is an adhesive involved, okay? What is the adhesive made of and why is it sustainable and why are you using it? That's what we need to get to here, okay? Um, it's not just design. Remember, it's sustainability. That's half the project, okay? Let's move down to the t-shirt giveaway. This is a good idea. I'm, I'm fine with this being 100% cotton, certified organic cotton, 40% polyester. Why does it have to be polyester? I don't understand. Polyester is... Man-made, it's, it's usually some sort of a, 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 well, poly, meaning it's made of a polymer, meaning it is probably petroleum-based, okay? So why do we need spandex in a sustainable t-shirt? Let's make it 100% cotton, okay? That makes sense. Half-folded booklet. This will be made with recycled paperboard and printed with soy inks. That's great. Did you know? You got a couple of facts here and you got a website. What is stopping me from throwing this away? Have you given me any incentive whatsoever not to just take this, open it up, look at it, and throw it right on the floor? And if you've ever been to a trade show, you'll know what I'm talking about. The trade show floor by Sunday is just a wreck with things just like this. It's just littered all over the floor. Um, I know because we used to have a restaurant and we used to do these trade shows and and, and believe me, the, 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 the waste is incredible. So you want to give folks a reason to hang on to this, okay? I'm going to give you an example of one of your classmates used a, uh, uh, eight, and a half, uh, eight, eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. On one side was their information for their trade show booth. On the other side was a map of the trade show floor, giving a person the reason to hold on to it, not throw it away. And... In the corner was a little coupon. You turn it into the booth on your way out the door. You get five dollars off parking. So there goes your your problem about litter. There goes your problem about um, of, of recycling. Okay, so that's what I gotta have you to work into your project. Okay, good job. Thanks, Oscar.